going to show you how I curl my uh, short inverted bob. Um, the makeup I'm wearing, I've just filmed a tutorial or drugstore tutorial, so that will be coming on later on this week. So I won't be putting in a description box what I'm wearing. When you see that video, everything will be there. Okay, so um, when I curl my short hair, it's a bit tricky because obviously the inverted bob has much shorter hair at the back, so you really need two sizes of curling wands. Um, and the best would be when you have short hair, one with the clamp. I don't have one. I have auto-rotating one from Irresistible Me, but unfortunately they've stopped selling them, so I don't want to do it here on camera because you can't get that one but if you have a um, curling tongue that has the uh, clamp on it you'll be fine and remember the tighter the curls the smaller the wand so depends if you want just um you know really relaxed curls then you use a bit fatter one if you want tighter curls then you use quite thin one so um, I will be using the Irresistible Me Sapphire 8 in wand is, is the one that you can change the wands. I'm going to be using the thickest one. And of course, because I need two, um, I can't do it because when this one is hot, I can't just interchange it. So what I am going to do, I'm going to use straighteners for the hair on in the back. Um, this one also could be a bit dangerous with very short hair because you have to wind the hair yourself so you could burn yourself really easily. So straighteners is another way that you can curl your hair with. So I'm going to put my, because I will do the back first, I'm going to put my straightener on. So what I'm going to do is part my hair probably in three sections. So I will do the top one. Then I will do this one just above my ears. That's my straightness ready. And I already have a, quite a kink here, but I can take my straightness and you see and give it a bit more curl. You just clamp your hair and curl it that way. So that's what I will do all the way all the way around. You could do your whole hair with straightness. I'm just I don't know, I prefer the curling ones. I usually do this on my second day hair. And it's quite nice because the hair has already some product from the day before. Today I have fresh hair. I just quickly blow dried it because I had to do the, the makeup tutorial and so basically what I'm saying I don't think you would get as nice look if you just washed your hair let it dry did nothing to it and then started curling because you won't get any body um, unless you've got really thick hair then it will be fine even when I curl my hair I still have to blow dry my hair first to give it volume but that's why I don't do it all on the same day. I usually curl my hair on the second day. Um, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm just doing it on the first day hair. Okay, so I'm gonna let this section down now. Oh, I should have shown you. So, you know, because you already have quite a lot of volume and it's quite um, stuck there, um, you don't need that much cow. Right, I'm going to do a bit more just the back here just to give it a little kink on this short a bit because then here my hair is long enough now to use the tongue. And I'm just doing it randomly because like I said, the hair is so short at the back that all it needs is a little kink. You can't really do many curls at the back. I 
Okay. I am going to heat up this now to 390. I think it goes to 420. I will spray my ends with the Red Can Iron Shape 11, which is thermal protecting spray. Just my ends because that's what I worry about the most. Okay, this is ready now. Also, if the thinner uh, sections you take, the tighter more curly your curls will be. Um, I don't know, I'm going to take section like this, is it about two inches, two and a half inches? And I'm going to curl away from my hair, from my face. <laughs> Pointing it down. I'm not so worried about the ends, the ends can be a bit straightish. the next section this uh, curling wand comes with a glove as well so if you are not so um, experienced with it and you worry about burning yourself this comes with a glove nice thin glove I've got less hair in this on this side so I'm doing it with a big barrel because I don't want my hair to be, you know, too tightly curled. But sometimes, uh, you know, if I know that I want my curls to last for a long time, I actually will do it with a smaller iron because um, the, the curls drop eventually. So even when they look quite tight at the beginning of the day, they will drop a bit later. Okay, actually this one is quite long, I probably can do this one. So you know, you don't have to be precise, you don't have to do like really clean sections, it's just wherever you see straight hair that you want to curl because Kelly look is a bit of a messy look we're not going for beautiful hollywood structured curls like you see on long hair okay let's let down this part, portion and spray it a bit with the protector okay i will start at the top and my top i curl backwards because the problem is with this haircut that you can end up looking like a triangle especially because I've got quite a round face if you have nice longish face with pointed chin then you are quite fine with this bit of your hair to be flat but when you have a round face and you have this bit flat you see like this then you start looking like a triangle and i don't know about you but i do not want to look like a triangle so these ones at the top i curl back i probably will even curl this section back got a bit of hairspray here which is quite good actually because that will hold the curl as well now I'm going to start curling the side bits and I'm curling everything away from the face and I'm going quite close to the root as well so I get lift at the root just pick out the bits that you see are straight
Now this top one, I will go sort of back and down, if you know what I mean. Not completely back, but that way. You just have to think about which way you want your hair to go and that's how you position your iron. Can you hear the birdies? You always say that you like to hear the birds and a lot of you is asking me if I've got birds in a house. I don't, I've just opened the window because it gets really hot with these lights. And where I live, there is a lot of trees. I have a park next door to me. So there is always a lot of birds and they always sing beautifully all year round. The thing is, every time I do my hair, curl my hair, they look different each time. So, but that's the general idea. Okay, I might have to, um, section this top bit here because like I said this side of my hair is much thicker Sometimes I like to move my part in, into the middle and curl it like it is in the middle and then flip it over. That usually gives me better finish at the front. So let's do that again. I think I might do this one a bit back. Okay, now you check if you have anywhere straight a bit and you can go all over those. Like I can see this one here is quite straight. And then you just have to wait for about 10 minutes, let the curls completely cool down because if you start brushing through them when they are still hot, the shape won't stay there for long. Okay, so I think the curls have cooled down now. So all I'm going to do is start slowly just breaking them up. This side hasn't curled too well. Now, like I said to you, I've parted it in the middle. Now I'm gonna push some bits towards the side. Then I will back comb the top a bit, because again, trying to Avoid the triangle look. Just add the roots very lightly. And I don't really rush my hair through once I've curled it. I play with it with my fingers, push it into shape. Apart from, you know, back combing the back a bit, I don't know what's going on at the actual back of my hair because I don't have mirror here. And that's when I use Kenra. I always look, use wrap when I've curled my hair and I lift my curl
curls and I spray it underneath and you can scrunch them up a bit while the um, hairspray is still a bit wet. You scrunch it into the shape and there it is funky curly hair on a short bob so I think it's best to do looser curls because I think if you do them too tight it can look a bit old-fashioned like if you had really tight perm done and also they will drop a bit throughout the day and I don't know what the back looks like but it should look quite messed up and and curly all you need to do is lift your hair and do this to it and that's it so that's how i curl my short stacked bob i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and remember stay fabulous bye